Hello Capricorn, let's go ahead and get started with your reading. The first card out, we've got not for you. So you know what's not for you. The card says, a clear knowing that something is being denied to you. Rejection is God's protection. There are times when it appears that no matter how deeply you desire something, no matter how hard you work at something, the result you seek always seems to elude you. It's as if you don't really get to be in the game and you feel you're just watching from the sidelines. The appearance of this card indicates that you are not going to attain what you want right now, that indeed your dreams for that exact thing will not be fulfilled. This is a time to radically accept that not everything is available to you when you want it. Take heart, for there are benevolent forces who desire the best for you and have a much clearer idea of what is for your highest good. Rejection is God's protection. Something much better that will make you truly happy is on its way. Trust this, okay? Trust the process. I mean, that's really what we have to do. If everybody hasn't noticed right now, we don't have control over any of what is going on. All we have control over is our reaction or our response. I suggest you respond more than react. Spirit, please show me Capricorn for the month of April. What does Capricorn need to know? All right, we've got the Eight of Summer. Yeah, you walking away, walking away from what no longer serves you. The desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on, choosing to make major life changes. You guys no longer have Pluto in your sign. So Pluto is about death, decay, and destruction. And it has just been destroying your guys' lives since uh, 2008. Next card out, we've got the Queen of Autumn here. And this talks about being practical with respect to how you proceed, the ability to make anything more beautiful, and meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. So there's this walking away, and what you're walking into is wishes being fulfilled. Um, Spirit, please show me Capricorn for the month of April. Woo, there it is. The moon. Okay, so not all is out on the table for you. There's still some things that need to be looked at. It says powerful, intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, and understanding the truth of a situation. Seven of autumn. You're like, hmm, all right, I didn't get my return on my investment, so what am I going to put into so that I can? It says, have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment of time or money. Capricorns, Pluto is now in your second house of your, your um, assets, debts, hierarchies, banking institutions, uh, your career, okay? How you value the money that you make from the company you work for and how you value the money that you make from the company that you own. Okay. So th there's two cards here of pentacles. So this does have a lot to do with, you know, business, um, you know, and, and maybe for some of you, even moonlighting, I'm getting moonlighting, just doing odd jobs right now. All right. Let's see what this is all about. Spirit, please show me Capricorn for the month of April. What does Capricorn need to know? Capricorn. All right. Well, here, we've got a few cards out more than I wanted. Ten of water for some of you. Maybe you're walking away from a family situation, having to have great strength to do so. But I do see where there's some exciting news, exciting new opportunities coming in. But I feel like you're a little battle worn, but there's going to be like a lot of messages. And I feel like it's something that you don't see coming. We've got the 10 of winter. This is a uh, fortune after difficulty, having the courage to move away from anything that isn't working, a relationship that isn't working, a career that isn't working, that doesn't fulfill you anymore. And because of that, we've got the page of fire here and it says creative enthusiastic and motivated so I feel like there's going to be a sense of optimism uh, enthusiasm uh, and it's going to get you really going again and excited and with that we've got the nine of wands which talks about protection preparedness and resilience you are definitely being very resilient in all of and I feel like for a lot of you Capricorns you're also being very grounded as well eight of fire is speed activity and multitasking I feel like things are gonna it's almost like slow slow quick quick you know um whatever that means for you it's like maybe at the beginning of the month because you're doing a lot of you know moving away from certain things i feel like at the end of the month we're going to be going into a lot of quickness there's going to be a lot of things that are playing out for you bottom of the deck we have the king of water here so this is about 
being compassionate, understanding, and somebody who's very trustworthy. So this is either you or someone else, but this is also about emotional maturity, okay? And maybe for some of you, it's about walking away from somebody who's emotionally unavailable, all right? Uh, however that means for you. Let's see what the Moonology deck has to say about this. Spirit, please show me. Ooh, we got two cards out. We're, uh, it is time to release negativity, kind of par for the core of what we've been talking about, and surrendering to the divine. Like I said, you know, we need to, it's time for us to walk away. We do have the Scorpio eclipse coming up on May 5th. So this could be like, you know, the Scorpio eclipse is like, okay, endings, completions, finalizations, maybe you're walking away from friends, you're walking away from lovers, you're walking away from jobs, um, you're releasing anything that is negative and toxic, anybody who makes you feel crazy. Um, and I feel like, you know, it, 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 you're conjuring up the strength in April to do so. Um, you know, have patience. That's the biggest theme here. And be very strategic about how you are maneuvering through this energy. Use your intuition as you are moving forward. Spirit, please show me Capricorn. Ooh, sacred plan, Capricorn. We've got romance and connection. Okay. So there, for those of you who are walking away from a relationship, it is putting you into alignment with the person that you're supposed to be with, if this is romantic. Otherwise, you know, for some of you, maybe you are, uh, For others of you, it's like you're, I feel, how do I want to say this, Spirit? If there's no romance and connection in this relationship with this king of water here, and they're not offering you something stable, something that could last the test of time, you're done, okay? You're not just looking for someone who wears their heart on, the, on their sleeve. You're looking for someone like the king of pentacles, somebody who is very grounded, practical, and somebody who wants to invest in you, somebody who is stable uh, financially, emotionally, and spiritually, okay? Um, I feel like, you know, for a lot of you, there could be some type of arrows of love coming in for you. Uh, you guys could have it has the moon here. I'm kind of getting like online, you know, dating, those types of things. New love, okay? A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Pay attention to those red flags, guys. We are going into Mercury retrograde. Make sure that you don't have exes coming back into the picture and you're starting trying to start off a new uh, romantic cycle with these individuals. Usually right around uh, Mercury retrograde and we are going into Mercury shadow. This is when people from the past start to come back in and, oh, I've been thinking about you. So I've been patiently waiting for you to think about me, you know, and now all of a sudden Mercury's going backwards and gives them time. What else have they been doing? So I feel like for a lot of you, if you do come into alignment uh, with an ex, I feel like I just posted a thing today. I don't have exes. I have examples of what I don't want. Okay. <laughs> um, it says engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I feel like, you know, if I, I feel like this is with a new person. So I feel like we need to get rid of the exes and allow new love to come in. Um, I mean, nobody wants an ex. They've already had the opportunity of hurting you. Why would you give them another opportunity to do the same thing? And then we've got look inside yourself and examine what is causing you to feel this way. So uh, be really careful with anybody from the past coming back. For some of you, I'm getting that you could have broken up around uh, autumn time, around the fall. Maybe you haven't heard from them since fall um, or since the fall of the relationship, I guess. Uh, yeah, make sure that you release any negative feelings towards any exes from the past. That could definitely be a, a, a red flag that you have not quite healed yet. For those of you Capricorns who are in a relationship, I feel like, you know, your your relationship, your partner could be going off and, and working, okay? The separation could have something to do with them. Uh, need, they're, they're working abroad or traveling for work, okay? I do see for some of you too, there could be some type of a trip in order. Uh, you could get some type of exciting uh, message and all of a sudden you're on a plane and you're out traveling. So whoever that 
that's for. And while you're on that journey, you could definitely find uh, meet up with a king of water, somebody who is emotionally available. But again, be very mindful that it is not during the Mercury retrograde. Anyway, Capricorn, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. Anyway, you guys, I love you all so much. Happy April.